Okay, so the main thing I did in your setup was that when I first saw you, you know, your right arm was way in front of your left forearm, almost underneath. See how my left arm is slightly in front of the right because I've tucked it in, right? The right hand and arm, I softened it. The right shoulder is almost slightly behind or back of the left shoulder. That squares you up. That's a lot better than you were previously. I would continue to try to almost tuck in and, and almost soften that elbow so it folds a little bit like mine. And just other than that, just try to make sure that you always keep your chin out from your neck. The significance of that, too, is that if your chin's out from your neck, you can still see the ball. We know we're balanced, and you got more room to make a bigger turn because there's space, right? Everything else is good. Club face is squared, ball positions, middle of your feet and feet are shoulder wide. That's perfect. Let's watch your takeaway now. From there, you can see the club goes back. Still on a fairly direct path, which is fine, but now look how your shoulder is moving, right, away from the ball. So you're able to get the club up the top of your swing about there. Compact position, that's no problem. And now the club can drop back down, re-extend to the ball, and you're getting off your right side earlier and clearing your hips and pivoting to your left. So it's just going to take some practice, you know, some tempo and adjustment on your part, but you got a position to prepare with to work on. Okay? Okay, now is that?